we're going to sort of move into now is the idea of standards, right? We're working it's in development on creating like a design and editorial um, style sheet so that you can share that with uh, with your authors and you know where, um, you know, where uh, things need to be uh, when it comes to like design and requirements. But one of the things that we need to talk and we talk about and we've sort of hammered it in throughout you know, all the classes is that we're not developing monographs. We're not developing just, you know, text that's just like head, text, head, text, and then towards the end of the book, right? You're developing textbooks. Um, and so that is something that the authors should know. Again, sort of connecting that to this whole idea of communication. Um, you have to let the authors know that they need to include this extra material. You do not want to have them send you a monograph and then you have to go back and say, hey, now you need to add sidebars and you need to add this. It's better to even create that as they're writing the book and say, hey, look, I have this idea, but it doesn't really you know, flow with the main text. So you know, I'm going to have that as a sidebar here. And then they write their sidebar rather than them having to think that up um, after the fact, right? So you will always want to make sure that you're, you're stressing that point with your authors that you know, the design, and this is where like the samples of, of what we have may prove useful uh, to you and sharing that with your authors and saying like, hey, look, this is what, this is sort of our goal. This is where, where we want to go. And this is where we want to sort of take your book and make it like the best possible book available. Right. Tim, go ahead. Um, yeah, sharing um, maybe Dave Ernst's talk um, and the module for his talk could be very informative as well. I feel like that gave a really good outline of what is sort of expected um, or hoped for in this. So if you are working with developing something with an author or you're trying to launch into the authorship of the, of the book, that might be something to really help frame the author's work while they're creating the actual content for the book. Right. right. And there Karen has provided a link to that module. So you can even share that with that same module and just say, Hey, look at this. This is what we're sort of expecting. Um, so that way they're, your authors are aware of this and so again we are working on having the design and editorial style sheet for you to have available and that will be available on on canvas i believe right karen um once we have that stuff together because we we have to make sure that everything is um set up um, but that brings us to the idea of consistency right because if if you have something that's consistent um, across like all OTN books, you know, they're not all going to be the same because they're going to be covering very different, um, you know, subjects. Um, so for example, something we, we've had this discussion before where like somebody's working on a psychology textbook and they need to use APA, we're not going to force them to use, you know, Chicago Manual of Style because that would make no sense. Um, but you do want to keep some things consistent across, you know, the open textbook network book. So that way you sort of develop this brand and saying like, hey, this is, you know, this quality work came from this cooperative and that sort of serves. And this is now thinking, putting on a different hat, right? This is now thinking of, uh you know, further in the future, you have people who will take this and say, well, I want to be part of this because this produced this really quality work, um, you know, that is now being used elsewhere. See, I'm being optimistic. Um, but, you know, that's the way that we have to think about it. And so that kind of stuff is stuff that maybe you don't have to burden the author with because they're just worried about the content of their book. But you do have to think of it as a, as a project manager to make sure that like, okay, the copyright page is set up this way and it says everything that it needs to say and all this other stuff. So you have those uh, templates and things uh, available because it's important to be consistent um, because once you provide once people associate a certain look or a certain feel to the quality of the work, then they're going to be more willing to buy into it. Um, and that's a little bit beyond what we need to think about, but it is something that, that you should keep um, in mind. 